Hello and welcome by the Orchid Saga. So yeah, I thought I'd uh, try a little bit of a different video that I didn't do before yet. A bit of a spotlight video because some orchids is just it's so fun to watch I think and maybe it's nice to hear some background stories and some care information. So this is that uh, beautiful uh, Odontoglossum Ballara type orchid that I uh, that I have and you see quite often I think on my uh, videos especially on the blooming updates of course so let me uh, zoom in while I'm talking about this one because the blooms are so beautiful and let me do it a little bit on the left so I can put in a picture of last year uh, blooms because the color is so much different than before and I think that is due to the fact that the orchid is getting uh, older and doing better, stronger. So we do get, uh, we see more intensity, intensity on the uh, colors of the blooms. Also, we can see it on the size of the blooms. They normally should get bigger in that case. If there is more potential, of course, than uh, before. Just, at least uh, at some point, it's just doing its best as it can and it will not get bigger or more deeper, richer color wise, of course. But with these younger plants, you see, really see uh, some development in that area because uh, as you see now, uh, or I just saw, uh, the colors are very different as well. But also I can see, and I'm going to try to slowly move up a bit. You can now see the spike there and that's also a sign when the spikes do get bigger. The spikes itself. Let me zoom in a little bit. Whoops, it's zooming out. So this part, if that is going to uh, get bigger than before, that's also a very healthy spot, uh, <laughs> sign and healthy spike. Yes. And obviously it needs to be uh, fairly big in this case because it uh, needs to hold quite some uh, flowers because there are quite some many. I didn't count them, but um, you can see there are quite, quite a few on them on this one large and thereby getting very heavy so i thought for a second i may have to, to, to stake this one but i do like this uh, look better that that hanging look so um but i don't need to because the spike is strong enough and also this spike you can see they are about the same size and thickness and this is one actually the first one to open up as that we see now and this one is also covered or filled with blooms I should say yeah basically covered you cannot see the spike here anymore at this point but yeah it's so beautiful and once again I'm so it's a bit of sad that I don't have the name for this because then I can share it and you know which one uh, if you like it to to buy uh, if I really had to guess I I think the, the Joe's drum, Ballara Joe's drum, if I remember it correctly, is the one that do gets the closest and may be the same one. But then again, if you look uh, up those blooms, those have more the same color as the, the picture I just shown in this uh, video. So therefore it could be the same one, but uh, it may do a bit of ch color change when it's uh, very happy grown and starting to get bigger and bigger. But once again, I'm not sure if that is the name. So then uh, let's move in a little bit on those bulbs because that's obviously also a good sign if those uh, and the leaves or those are very healthy, nice green colored. And whoops, wrong side. Let's zoom in and you can see the bulb on the left is carrying the spikes and it has a bit of a bend, a, a, a little bit of bending going on. I don't know how to call it. Let me check this in the middle there. But I don't know what happened there, but it's still doing fine. And you can see it's a little bit, uh, it has a bit of purple in there. I think on screen it does show up a little bit more like a dark green, but in reality it's, it's a hint of purple in that bulb. And it didn't have that on the previous one, but that's, uh, yeah, with the name tag you cannot see it because the leaf is in the way. Uh, but it's, this is a good sign, a little bit of purple, because it does get uh, apparently enough light. You can see, whoops, I'm sorry. Uh, you can see also that a little bit of purple on the leaves, especially on the edge of the leaves. And it was a little bit more pronounced on the base as well. But that's what I like, just a hint of purple is okay. But not too much, obviously, and this... Uh, Orchid is carrying the color purple obviously in the blooms as well so sometimes you will see it 
uh, back in the leaves and the bulb as well. It's not always necessarily because it gets enough or a little bit too much light, but you can see this one is a, uh, has the pigment purple obviously in it <laughs> and thereby it does show it up uh, a little bit easier, I believe on the bulbs and leaves as well uh, when it's uh, getting uh, quite some light. Quite some light sounds like Cattleya light, Vander light. It's hard to explain, it's nothing like it. It's just odontoglossum type light. So enough to keep them nice, green and healthy. And it's hard to put in words, but you will get a sense of it uh, when you do get more experience uh, with growing them. So I think the ones you guys out there <laughs> watching this video do have orchids, do have odontoglossum, Bellara types, know exactly what I mean. It's a bit of um, an oncidium type light. I think a little less even than, uh, than those guys. But yeah, this is the spotlight for this uh, Bellara type. And a funny thing I uh, can mention now, I think in this video, uh, when I bought this one, it only had this bulb here. Well, actually it was this bulb, the oldest one and a new growth. Um, when I bought it, I found it in uh, just a regular uh, uh, garden center. And it, uh, on, the, the, on the tag it said, well actually on the sticker, on the pot, uh, it said the price, it was something about 4, 4.99 I think euros and it said uh, uh, also it was listed as a one year plant so it's uh, like a plant for in garden it only uh, lasts for one year but it's obviously it was a, a, a orchid and uh, so i said to the to this orchid well yeah that doesn't sound very uh, promising but let's try to add some more years to your life than uh, only one and uh, yeah like i said i have this one uh, for three years now, this is the third bulb that I grew on. We started with, like I said, that older one, new growth. In the back we have another one, and then I decided to put up this one on this side. So it basically is going round. <laughs> but uh, yeah, third year and the best year so far. So uh, let's uh, add some more years even on this one. And to be honest, I hope, I really hope that it now decides to put up Two new growths that would be awesome of course i think it's ready i really think it's ready to uh, put out more new growths if you look at the spikes and it's doing so well so yeah i think two new growths wouldn't be a problem but that's the beauty of growing the orchids it's not up to us we can do and try to uh, make everything as good as possible to, to encourage extra new growths but you never know and i think that's uh, that's how it should be it's just a surprise so thank you uh, for watching. I hope you like this type of video. Please let me know in the comment section below. And of course, if you have any questions uh, about me as an orchid grower about this plant, plant uh, please uh, let uh, leave your questions in the comment section. I will get to them as soon as possible. Thank you for watching and I really hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos. Bye bye.